JMU is no stranger to hosting controversial speakers on campus. Nearly a year ago, JMU's Young Americans for Freedom hosted conservative political commentator Liz Wheeler, who stirred up protests and criticism regarding free speech at JMU. Breeze TV's Natalia Nelson dove into the controversies of this issue when the president of Students for Life of America visited Harrisonburg. Kristen Hawkins is the president of Students for Life of America, a pro-life organization with student groups in colleges across the nation, including at JMU. She gained national attention last year after her speech at Virginia Commonwealth University was shut down when a fight broke out between attendees and protesters. This sparked debate about students' right to assembly and free speech on campus, as well as the safety of those attending Hawkins' talks. Dukes for Life member Anaya Swango said she felt there was a relatively tolerant culture at JMU. I would say it's a safe place. I would say it's safe with the people that kind of agree with you. They don't agree with you. I mean, you'll get looks and like they'll talk about you, but I don't think they would like be like violent. I don't fear for my life or like anything like that. I say what I want and I feel comfortable doing that. But Swango isn't the only Duke who feels comfortable saying what she wants, even if she knows many would disagree with her. Hawkins' talk included a question and answer portion that invited debate from all sides. Ken Thomas was one of several protesters from the Young Democratic Socialists of America who stepped up to the mic. She's more than allowed to come in and speak. And I don't think people should get violent or do crazy things like what happened at VCU. And um, so I respect the ability that she's able to come here and speak, but I also believe that people should be allowed to protest the speech that they disagree with. Read the, all, your, the sources for the studies that you're citing. Yes. The source, the, the medical paper that this study, this pro-life study, Which one is this bias study, the curious study. Abortion has long been the subject of intense debate, especially since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade almost two years ago. Abortion has become a deciding factor in battleground elections, particularly in Virginia, where Democrats flip control of the General Assembly in 2023. According to a Gallup poll, 74% of Americans believe abortion should be legal to a certain degree, but 48% say they would support a 16-week abortion ban. Despite pushback, Hawkins will continue to visit universities across the nation and encourage civil discourse. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Natalia Nelson.